Now that we've found playing position, this is something I'll be referred to in the future, so you're going to want to remember with the balls of the feet up, sitting straight up, and your hands with the back up facing the ceiling. Now we can talk about the motion that we'll be using to strike the drum. We'll be using the shoulder and the arm, including bending at the elbow, and the wrist. And the more advanced techniques will be utilizing motion of the fingers as well. And what I'll, what I'll use to describe these different regions of the arm are gears, uh, starting with the largest to the smallest. So our big gears, when I refer to big gear, we'll be referring to our upper arm anytime we use a motion like this. These motions will be more applicable to an entire drum set. You can see if I were surrounded by drums and cymbals, I'm using much more than my wrist. You'll need them to move to either your right side or your left. Moving down in the gears, the mid gears are going to be the forearm. This motion here, this is something that we'll be using here as well. And you'll find that you'll be strengthening your forearms as well through this process. Followed by the wrist and then the fingers. Some of the differences between them is that the larger the gear gets, the more power you can provide because you have more muscle mass and more bone mass as well. So a stroke using my entire arm is going to be much stronger than a stroke with my fingers. The benefit of using the smaller gears and the smaller muscle groups is that the smaller muscle fiber that you're using, the faster you can play. So the lack of effort that it takes to close my fingers is much less than moving my entire arm. These are all motions that we'll discuss and we'll use them together to create a nice powerful stroke. That way we can develop finesse as well as power. And when we're playing, we can achieve whatever sound we're looking for. That's really what we're doing. We're doing these exercises to play music and to express different feelings and different levels of dynamics. We're not doing it to play more exercises.